Today we're going to be talking about the parts of a microscope, how to use a microscope, and how to focus an image. You may have already heard uh, some basic parts of your microscope. Here's your eyepiece. It magnifies your object ten times. You have the body too. These are the objectives. Notice you can change the objectives by using the revolving nose piece here. You always want to hold on to this instead of the objectives when you change them. It will rattle them loose if you hold on to the actual objective. So you have your stage. If you look under your stage, you'll see a lever here that you can move back and forth. This is the iris diaphragm and it controls how much light passes through your stage. We'll talk more about that later. You have your light source, which you can turn on and off, and you have two main knobs. On some microscopes, the small knob will be located here. This is the course adjustment. As you can see, it moves the stage closer to and further away your objective, and you also have the fine adjustment or the fine focus. This is your main focusing tool. Once you get your object in focus, then you will sharpen up your image with your fine adjustment. I'm going to show you now how to um, focus an image. One more thing I want to show you before we get started is the mechanical stage. You can move your slide around the stage by moving these knobs. And anytime you have a slide on here, you want to move your slide all the way to the back of that part, clip it down, and it clips just to the side of your slide, not over it, like the older stage clips. Then you'll want to center up your slide. Okay? And let's go ahead and turn our microscope on and begin to focus our image. You will want to always start with your stage as close to the objective as possible. Okay? And let's go ahead and take a look through here and see our image. Okay, we can see some kind of green specks here. We're on our lowest power. To bring this in focus, we're going to roll down our course adjustment. As you can see, the image is becoming a little sharper. Don't be afraid to go further. And as you can see, it's getting blurrier. So you may want to roll it back up until it looks the best to you as possible. Once you have it in focus, you'll then use your fine focus back and forth to sh further sharpen up your image. Okay? Um, I would look for the largest organism or the largest specimen on here that looks interesting that you may want to take a closer look at with your mechanical stage and center that object up. Okay, then we're going to turn our objective to the next highest power. Very important um, that you do not roll your stage during this time. Leave your stage right where you have it. Notice on the higher power, we can see fewer of the organisms, and they're blurry. And so to bring these in focus, very important, you want to use your fine adjustment only. Using the course focus on higher powers can crash your objective into your stage, scratching them. So you want to use your fine adjustment only on your higher powers. And again, find an organism that looks interesting to you that you want to see closer up. Put it in the middle. Notice the um, organisms over at the side here, especially this green one. The one that we want to see closer, right in the middle now, when we go up one more power, I want you to see that the ones to the left disappear. Because as you go up in your power, you have a smaller viewing area. So it's very important that you center the object that you want to see before going up on your magnification. And we'll go up another magnification now. Notice we have our one object right in the middle. And the ones that were at the left of the screen are now gone. Because when you go up on your magnification, you have a smaller field of view. We want to bring this little fella in focus by using the fine adjustment only. I'm turning that now to try to bring this object in focus. Be patient with it, moving it back and forth 
until it looks the best to you. Okay. Um, notice also as we've been going up our image is a little darker. One thing you want to do so you can see your image better is to open up your iris diaphragm. I'm opening it slowly here and as I do it gets blurrier so then you want to further adjust your fine focus and as you can see we can see more details now with this image. Um, you might also want to use your condenser. This provides further contrast to your image and I think it was at a better setting how we had it. So we're going to switch it back, fine adjust, and this looks like the best viewing area. I um, want to point out a few things here. I'm going to roll the nucleus. into view. Trying to get that right on the pointer, but it's the large kind of brownish structure there. And notice right above the nucleus, it looks like a little fold in this organism. This organism is a protist. It's called a paramecium. And if you look around the whole edge of this organism, you can see kind of a dark outline. And it's very helpful if you will refer to figures, um, maybe in your textbook, to help you identify some of the parts. If you'll look around the edge of this organism, you can see a little shadow. And as you can see, these are labeled cilia. This is that dark structure, the macronucleus that we were seeing that looked dark brown. Here's another example of something you can look at. This is a real image that's very similar to what we're looking at. And as you can see, um, some of the same parts we were looking at, the little fold I was talking to you about is the oral groove. That's where the food comes in, this paramecium. The next thing I want to show you about the microscope is how to make your own slide. Something that you want to see, you can place the object down here on your slide and add one or two drops of water. And you will also add a cover slip. A cover slip you should hold by its edges. Um, most of the time these are glass and if you pick them up sometimes they can break in your fingers and also you will get them, you'll smudge them up if you grab them um, another way except by the edges. So you'll place your cover slip on your slide and get a good seal there. And if you will look, we're going to look at the letter E-C, just basic top face under the microscope and see how the letter E looks under the microscope. So again, we will clip the slide and you will center up with your mechanical stage, the E and the C. And notice that I have the course adjustment as far away from the objective as possible. And then we're going to go ahead and roll it all the way up before we look in to focus it. Okay, here's our EC. And we're rolled all the way up. I'm going to roll down to bring it in focus. And use my fine adjustment. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to further center my E. Um, right in the middle here. We have EC dash. Okay. Notice you can also see the fibers of the paper, which look pretty neat. Okay, now we're going to go up one power, keeping the stage in place. You may have noticed this from the first shot, but our E is upside down. Inside the body tube that's underneath the eyepiece, there are three mirrors which invert and um, reverse the image. Um, this works much like a periscope in a submarine. We're going to go up one more power, and I want to show you how you lose part of your image and also um, the lighting. Okay, guys, notice how dark and blurry our image is as we went up to uh, the highest power. We're going to open our iris diaphragm and use our fine adjustment, and there's your image. So be patient as you go up on your focus because you will lose your image. But it's important to increase your light because you're losing some of your field of view. 
and also use your fine adjustment. This is all we can see of our E. To see the rest of the E, you will have to move your mechanical stage around. So as you go up in your magnification, you can see less of your image. And there's the bottom of the E. And that's about it.